Irvin Carney, and I'm a DevOps engineer. How technology agnostic it is, uh, it works with all the different legacy solutions we have, and it allows us to look at things in one location as opposed to going to a lot of different uh, places. The abstraction of, I call it the who, what, and, and where of pieces of work that need to be done in the, in the IT world. So the who, you know, the login, the credentials, all those things, the where, as far as the agents and um, those things, and then the what, the actual uh, worker objects themselves. Having those abstracted and separated allows us to move things from one environment to the next, um, and it allows consistency in testing. We can abstract those three different layers. So to me, that's one of the, the biggest uh, advantages of the tools. Very stable. The tool we had before this tool, um, we were nervous around patching uh, cycles, and we were nervous for data center downtimes because we didn't know how this other tool was going to react. But I mean, this tool, far better than the tool we had before. and. Uh, we probably don't even really have to think about the stability. It's, it's sort of like a, a good piece of software is like a good referee. If it's doing good, you don't notice it. So that's the good thing about Atomic. We don't even notice that it's there a lot of the times. Um, so it's very, very stable product, very scalable. Um, I know you just talked about adding support for, you know, hundreds of thousands of agents. And I know it goes up to like a thousand clients per engine. So. You can do a lot with that. Um, it's a very scalable solution. We have a lot more capacity probably than we have use cases for right now. Technical support has been, been uh, good. I mean, with any type of support structure, you're going to have challenges you know, with geographies and, and things getting passed off. But generally, uh, Atomic um, has been very supportive. Their professional services department, excellent, A1. Um, and, and they really give you that partner feel as opposed to the customer vendor and we still have that relationship but when there's actual issues it feels more like a partner um, situation as opposed to a you're the vendor i'm the customer more hadoop native um, support for things um, such as uh you know uzi jobs spark jobs you know uh, native support for messaging architecture like with your rabbit mq your kafka's just more native support for the kind of we talk about the software factory um, with services and that new architecture, just more native support for interacting with those things. I, I give it an eight. I can say I, the functionality is great. Um, the scripting language is very powerful. Uh, it can adapt to most use cases. Very good community of, of different uh, companies and a user base. Um, so when we have problems, we can go to other people. Why I didn't get a 10 is a little, there's too many windows. All right, so if you're getting deep into some of these workflows, you may have 20 different windows open. And it's just, if you didn't already have that deep understanding of how enterprise, uh, arch enterprise orchestration works, it'd be very overwhelming to get up to speed on something like that. So some type of way, and I don't even know what that looks like, but I know what, when it doesn't look feel good, to minimize the amount of windows and, and have it to where you can have all the information you need available on the screen or kind of more dynamic so you don't have just this clutter on your screen so yep